This video is about the JBL L100 Classic Mark II loudspeaker. JBL saw the movement in the popularity of vintage audio equipment and decided to bring back the L100, which was their most popular model from the 70s. This new Mark II version is an evolution of the reborn L100 Classic with some upgrades to the crossover and drivers. Now let's dive in and take a look at these new Mark II speakers. <laughs> It's important to note that JBL has an incredible background in the world of audio reproduction. I won't go into their full history here, but if you are interested, we do have a detailed article about their history and these new loudspeakers that I will link in the description. For this video, I will review the features and technology packed inside these speakers and then give you some thoughts based on our listening and performance testing. Let's start with the woofer. The 12 inch pure pulp white cone woofer takes the robust build quality and power handling of pro sound woofers, but is engineered for home audio use. With a substantial magnet structure and cast aluminum basket, this driver brings the natural tone that paper cone drivers are known for with the dynamics of a large woofer driver not typically seen in a stand mount speaker. For mid-range duty from 450 hertz to 3.5 kilohertz, a five and one quarter inch polymer coated pure pulp cone continues with the design choice of using paper cones for their natural tonal sound. This driver has a polymer coating for protection from humidity and a longer driver life. Now, from 3.5 kilohertz and up, JBL uses a specially designed titanium dome tweeter and an acoustic lens waveguide, giving upper mid-range and treble great detail. The stiff and light titanium dome reduces distortions sometimes found in some other dome materials. Now this ensures that the music waveform is not altered due to the limitations of the tweeter dome material. For the new L100 Classic Mark II speaker, JBL revised the crossover to allow by wire slash by amping ability. With a sensitivity of 90 dB and a 4 ohm load, the Mark II can be powered with excellent results by anything from a 25 watt all tube amplifier to a 200 watt solid state powerhouse. The JBL L100 Classic Mark II also has a front firing bass port, which we feel is a great idea as it gives you many more placement options in a room than rear firing ports. For lovers of the classic stereo against the wall look, having a front port will provide the ability of the Mark IIs to sound great in this setting without making the bass boomy or overdone as a rear ported speaker would. But for you music lovers like us who like to pull the speakers out into the room and give them some room to breathe, well, the L100 Classic Mark II will be at home in this environment and will reward listeners for the cleaner bass, added soundstage depth, and imaging ability that this arrangement can bring. Next, I want to talk about the mid-range and tweeter attenuators on the L100 speakers. Now, these were once popular in the 70s and the 80s, but they're not seen in many speakers today. Now, this is primarily due to the components used in these devices generally doing some harm to the music signal integrity. However, JBL has improved these components and offers mid-range and tweeter attenuation without many of the associated negatives. Now, the added benefit of these circuits is the ability to tune the speaker to your taste, or if you have a hearing sensitivity or deficiency at certain frequencies. Now, this can also be used to dial in the speakers to your room, as some rooms will naturally boost or cut the treble or the mid-range. Okay, obviously, these speakers are for someone that's looking for that vintage or that retro style, but they want all the latest tech inside their speakers. Well, we think that JBL has done an amazing job at doing just that. These JBL L100 Classic Mark IIs come in high quality natural set and walnut veneer with three different grill color options to match the look that you're going for. These Quadrex foam grills come in black, orange, or blue and fit the vintage vibe that the JBL is going for with this speaker. Now you could choose the black grill for a vintage understated look or get the orange or the blue grill if you want your speakers to stand out and be the focal point in your room. Okay, you can see I have the JBL L100 Mark IIs behind me on a table and on a stool, but that's not really where they should be placed. You have to keep in mind that these are stand mount speakers requiring them to be elevated off of the floor for the best performance. Well, JBL does have you covered here with the JS120 and JS150 stands, which we highly recommend. 
Both stands lift the speaker about 7.5 inches off the floor and tilt them back at a calculated angle to time align the drivers. Now this is very important as time alignment allows the drivers to flow into each other seamlessly at the crossover frequency so that the speaker is closer to a point source of sound. Now this also has benefits in sound staging and imaging ability of the speakers and gives the music much more realism, allowing the speakers to just disappear in your room. All right, the part that most of you are probably wondering about is how do these new JBL Mark II versions actually sound? Well, we were already impressed with the first version of the JBL L100s, so we were eager to hear what JBL did to improve on this new classic. The hookup was a breeze with the included high quality binding posts, which is an improvement to the already great binding posts on the first generation of the speaker. Now, while we did not buy wire or buy amp the Mark II, we did like to see that they included this for a much asked for addition for folks who want to explore their options. Now, knowing the variations of rooms and systems out there, we listened to the JBL Mark IIs against the wall and then pulled them out into our room to explore how their sound would change. We also tried both high-end tube and solid-state amplification and found the L100 Mark II sounded great with either option, allowing the sonic benefits of each topology to really shine. If you do need help deciding where to place these in your room or maybe what amps to pair them up with, just reach out to our experts at audioadvice.com and they can discuss the best options for your specific situation. And while you're there, audioadvice.com has a massive library of design guides, how-to videos, and educational articles about all things audio, video, and home theater, including we also have our free home theater design tool to help you design your home theater or media room. It's truly a one-stop shop for all the education and products that you'll need in your audio journey. In addition, we offer free shipping, lifetime expert support, and a price guarantee. Now, let's dive into what we heard when we tested these speakers out. Led Zeppelin's HD remastered 1969 album Led Zeppelin II is a pretty fitting start to our evaluation of the JBL Classic L100 Mark II, as this album, like JBL itself, is a rock and roll classic. From the very first track, we understood what JBL was after with this design. The sound was big, bold, and dynamic. From Jimmy Page's soaring guitar leads to Robert Plant's powerful lead vocals, the L100 Classic Mark II seemed to be born for this music. John Bonham's drums sounded very dynamic and much more engaging than other standout speakers on the market. Having dynamic contrast in the music is a virtue that allows the music to breathe and live, and these JBLs excel at this task. While we understand that this album's studio work is somewhat limited in sound quality, we needed to hear how the Mark II sounds with these imperfect recordings, and it did a great job. Next, Thelonious Monk's 1962 album, Monk's Dream, takes things in a different direction tonally with a jazz classic that will showcase how versatile the L100 Classic Mark II is. The first track, Monk's Dream, is one of our favorites, and it showed us that the JBLs aren't just rock and roll speakers. The drums had body, and the cymbals had great detail. The piano had great detail and tone without some of the sibilances that some speakers produce playing back this instrument. And one of the biggest surprises for us was the bass. While the Led Zeppelin album showed us that the JBL meant business rocking out with the classics, this jazz album showed us that the agility of the bass we were not expecting in these speakers. Many speakers with large woofers will give up a little detail for bass slam and depth, but not these Mark IIs. The bass had a level of ease and finesse not found in other stand mounts or floor standing speakers that use smaller, higher tech woofers. This effortlessness gave the bass more defined tonal characteristics, allowing us to hear deeper into the music. The mid-range and treble were both crisp and clear, and while the L100 Classic Mark II does not sound as sophisticated or open as some rivals with higher tech cabinets or drivers, it is good enough to do the music justice. Imaging and sound staging were good as well, and while they didn't deliver the total disappearing act as some small stand mount speakers will do on the market, it did a commendable performance. In JBL's defense, these speakers seem to be designed more for the enjoyment factor of music rather than the surgical analysis of it. So we really thoroughly enjoyed our time with these JBL L100 Classic Mark II speakers and think that it's a speaker that will fit the bill for many looking for an enjoyable window to their music. Now, they are large for a stand mount speaker, but also offer an effortlessness to the low frequencies that most stand mount and some floor standing speakers just can't produce. 
The mid-range and high frequencies offer great detail and musical enjoyment without being analytical or sibilant. Looking at the internals, we can tell the JBL wanted this speaker to provide the combination of over-engineered drivers, good cabinet construction, and grill options to allow you to choose the vintage vibe that you want to go for. The JBL L100 Classic Mark II is an excellent option for music lovers who want to do just that. Enjoy the music. I hope that this overview has helped you get a good look at what the new JBL Classic L100 Mark II has to offer. If you have more questions, reach out to our experts via chat or phone at audioadvice.com or just stop by one of our award-winning showrooms and we'd be happy to help you out. In addition, if you do purchase your JBL speakers or any other audio or video gear from audioadvice.com, you're covered with free shipping, expert support, and a price guarantee. And if you've liked this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. It really helps us out. Now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.